Hey, welcome to the uh, Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we will talk about how to install Microsoft Security Essentials uh, antivirus, anti-malware software. Um, if you use Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7, uh, there is a version of uh, Microsoft Security Essentials available for all platforms. If you have Windows 8, you already have one integrated which is available and it's the uh, famous Windows Defender. If you um, have Windows 8, um, go to www.youtube.com slash the official Windows 8 and you'll uh, be able to search for uh, security essentials where you'll have, uh, or antivirus if you want, and you'll have all the way to uh, install actually activate it because it's already pre-installed on your machine. Now Security Essentials is a good piece of security software if you don't want to pay for an antivirus um, this is one of the good ones that I like a lot it's easy to use and easy to install and the best of all because a lot of people have difficulty with that there's no renewal you don't have to go on to the Microsoft website to renew for anything you don't have to reinstall a new version um, yes you do but I mean not you know going to the website like AVG or um, Avast or all these free antivirus need you to renew and it's always a little complicated and you're not really sure what you have to do with the Microsoft Security Essentials it's really simple and I think they did a great job uh, with that making it as simple as possible so how do you get your copy first of all you need to know what version of Windows you're using and that's always the big problem so whatever version of Windows you're using go into your start menu at the bottom left of course if it says start there's a chance that you uh, might be on Windows XP but just click the start button go in your control panel and make sure you're in icon view and click on system you have that little icon that's called system there you'll have the information of your Windows operating system first of all you need to know what version of Windows it is so it's Windows 7 in my case it might be Windows Vista for you it might be Windows XP that you gotta know second thing you need to know especially for Vista and seven users is it a 32 or 64 bit windows so you'll go and a little down here you see system type in my case it says 32 bit operating system yours might be 64 bit so keep note of that I got Windows 7 32 bits for me whatever version you have just put it down on a piece of paper and once you've done that what you'll have to do is simply go on the internet so go on the internet and if you don't want to have it really complicated just go to Google and once you're there type security security essentials and the first link you should see will probably be Microsoft security essentials this is what it should look like at the top on the window it should say windows.microsoft.com slash security essentials at some point uh, here it says for Canada but um, if you're in the US or whatever country that's where you'll be second of all you'll go into get Microsoft security essentials so download now here it didn't ask because it knew what version probably I'm using but if you go here there's a good chance it's gonna ask you what operating system you use especially in Windows Vista I've noticed that it's uh, often asked do you have 32 or 64 bit once you click there just uh, run it just click run And once you do that, and once it's downloaded, you'll see that the uh, Microsoft Security Essentials installation process is going to start up. 
any questions they might ask about do you want to allow the program you say yes and this is what the install window looks like just click next I accept you can join the customer experience program or not I will not for this time next you let all the information here if no firewalls turned on turn on Windows firewall turn on automatic uh, sample submission that could be good because when it detects a virus it actually sends a sample information of that virus to Microsoft for a better detecting and removal uh, keep in mind before installing uh, Microsoft Security Essentials please go to the add remove programs in your control panel um, and uninstall any antivirus that you might have if you have an antivirus that is uh, you know left over because it's uh, subscription expired uh, well you gotta uninstall that before you in install uh, Microsoft Security Essentials is very important. So here you continue with next and then you'll see preparing to uh, install. Click install. It does tell you if you have any other uh, antivirus or anti-spyware. It might not be a good idea. Uh, once you know everything is okay, click install. And it's going to install that piece of software. Uh, Microsoft Security Essentials is free. It is available for Windows XP and uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7. It is part of Windows 8 already when you buy that new Windows 8 computer so you don't have to download it. And um, here we are. It says scan my computer for potential threats after getting the latest update. I recommend uh, doing that so that you to make sure that you don't have any viruses after the uh, install is complete. You click finish and there you'll see that window now the important part of that window is that little status bar that you see at the top where it's red and says PD status PC status at risk uh, make sure that you wait until the updates are all done and installed to make sure that your PC status becomes green at the top of the screen Microsoft Security Essentials is pretty much um, an easy to use antivirus if you have a virus in your computer. Um, I would say that a lot of the times it doesn't really let you know, it just pops up a small little window at the bottom right that says, um, you know, cleaning your computer or uh, so you have nothing to do. Um, and if something really important, pops up then it's gonna let you know um, and here it's installing the updates and if you look at the updates um, if I go home for example now everything's green everything's okay and now just started my scan and uh, basically you're installed on the bottom right uh, there's the icon if you don't see it look at the little arrow in your taskbar in the bottom right I suggest that you take the icon and actually slide it by clicking and holding you just slide it in the taskbar so you can always see it to make sure that everything is all right so uh, if your uh, PC status says protected uh, the scan is completed and you see that little green icon at the bottom right uh, from I'll, I'll cancel scan and like so you see that little green icon with a kind of check mark there at the bottom right you know that everything is fine you are now protected and everything is just cool and going just right so Microsoft Security Essentials easy to get on the uh, web just um, Install it if you don't have any antivirus, anti-malware programs. If you um, are looking to replace maybe a expired antivirus, uh, well, this is a free solution and uh, that works pretty well. It's pretty good. So thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel.
you'll be uh, informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a video of some feature or problem that you'd like us to uh, talk about, uh, be it Android, iOS, which is iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, uh, Mac, or PC. Please let us know and we'll try to put that video online and you'll be helping others at the same time. Thanks for watching. Hope you come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.